Hello, hello, hello. I'll give everyone a moment to pop on. Hi, Sophie, how are you? Happy Saturday. How's your Saturday going? It's a little bit of a lag too, so I apologize if it takes me a second to respond. Oh, humid. I can kind of understand. We've had a heat spell here in Seattle where it has just been kind of, ugh. thankfully our humidity is nothing like it is on the East Coast, but at the same time, it can be pretty unbearable when it hits 80 to 90 degrees, which I think is a, like 20 some odd degrees Celsius. I'm not sure what the conversion is, but it's pretty warm. But I'm doing well. I'm happy it's Saturday and um, just having fun with makeup today. I'm excited for that. Um, sorry if you hear this weird noise. I'm actually, I haven't eaten breakfast yet, so I'm kind of like grabbing my granola bar. I'm going to have a little bit of snack here. Let's see. We're going to see if other folks have joined yet. And it doesn't look like we have a lot of people here yet, but that's okay. Um, well, I'm going to be here for about an hour. So for those of you who are going to watch in the playback later, we're going to do a Sydney Grace kind of unve unveiling. That's not a word. Revealing. And I'm going to swatch and play with things and just kind of, you know, see what Sydney Grace is all about. So I ordered a ton of stuff um, during their Christmas in July sale. And if you weren't familiar with what that was, um, they, I think it was five days where they had different deals going on. So one day you could get, if you purchase $50 worth of things, you got a free palette. Another day was a special deal where it was like, 30% off a specific kind of product and so on and so forth. So I had actually per made two separate orders. One day I ordered loose highlighter, um, cream eyeshadows, uh, blush, and um, a lip product. And then the last day is when I went a little nuts <laughs> and I purchased um, 20 some odd eyeshadows because they were 25% off. So yeah, cool. Oh my gosh, 26 degrees. If I am calculating that correctly in my head, that's like 90 some odd degrees and that sounds horrible. <laughs> I like the heat, but I don't know if I want that with humidity. That sounds terrible. And okay, cool. I'm glad Clara and others are coming too. So I'll just kind of push this out a little bit in terms of the, uh, like, what do you call it? I need more coffee. I do this every so often in my videos where I'm like, Brain fart, more coffee, please. <laughs> this is like my favorite mug. Um, I got this when I was in Disney World last year when I went down there. Uh, I have some friends moved down to Orlando and I drove cross country with them, which is 3,000 miles, and um, I was helping them move and drive across. So, anyway, at Disney World, I saw this mug and I thought that's perfect because it's so big and it says Hakuna Matata which is from the Lion King and last year they released the live version of the Lion King so that was fun it's like my favorite memory I usually don't buy souvenirs like this but this cup I just couldn't pass up so Hakuna Matata all right so I have lots of stuff in this bag mostly just packaging but I wanted to show you all the packaging before um, we go into swatches 
oh yeah, I also bought loose glitters <laughs> because I didn't buy enough of anything else. Oh, oh, hello. So they came out with a bunch of new products just as they did their launch as well, which was kind of cool because I had never ordered from Sydney Grace before and I was thrilled to try them out during a sale period so I didn't have to spend as much money but I've heard nothing but good things about Sydney Grace and I've seen so many beautiful swatches online and so many YouTubers that I watch rave about them and I said okay it's time I'm just gonna just do it let's just do it and I spent who I think it was like a hundred fifty dollars on all this stuff which is not a bad deal I saved over sixty dollars but at the same time Having a big makeup purchase that big on a brand I'd never tried before was just a little like, ooh, do I want to do that? But I'm so glad I did because these products are amazing. So I have everything laid out here. Let's first show you the eyeshadows that I purchased. These are all singles and I have them in a Z palette, which looks like this. There's so many colors. There's only one shadow that I didn't put in here and it's my black. Um, my midnight black eyeshadow and it's because I purchased five of them. I purchased five and I'm not putting them in my personal kit because I am planning to use this for uh, my makeup kits. So I don't like putting those in my personal collection. But I tried to organize this by just color story. It was difficult because I realized I did not order any blue eyeshadows, which I thought I did, but I guess I didn't. In my wild frenzy uh, to get these into my shopping basket and ordered on time. So I have a lot of mostly shimmer shades and metallics, some duochromes. I have a, I think I have three mattes in this whole palette. So I think I might have to order more from them soon. <laughs> but even if I purchase them, um, at full retail price they're only about six dollars a piece which is still really affordable and they're great quality so I'm willing to spend that money on them I also purchased a blush I should put this in the palette hold on I didn't think to do that but I did purchase a blush this one is called Paris Skies it's a cool tone mauve shade but it has a nice shimmer to it so I'll just put it in my Z palette um, and it comes in these little cardboard sleeves. Most eyeshadows and singles and blushes like this do. So um, just to kind of give you an idea of just how many eyeshadows this is. Here's one box of the sleeves. I thought I'd keep them just to show everyone just how obsessed with the single eyeshadows I am. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, in addition to... The eyeshadows, I, a single eyeshadows, I bought Sydney Grace's um, cream shadows and I bought four of them. Um, and they come in little squeeze tubes like this and I cannot wait to use these. These are so beautiful. So I'll show you swatches in a minute, but just to give you an idea, there's like a red copper, um, like a metallic burgundy-ish coppery color. There's a what do you call this? A nicer, not nicer, but this is definitely more of your true tone copper. This one is a lilac shimmer and then a silver, like a pure pewter silver. <laughs> They're so pretty. I bought a lip cream. I actually used this in a video recently. This one is called Chloe. It's nice nude. Um, I would say more of like just a kind of a neutral tone to nude. It's very pretty. It'd be no, let me rephrase that. It's nude on a lighter skin toned person. If you're a darker, deeper skin toned um, person, then it might not be a nude for you. Oh, let me check. Oh, I haven't seen the live action Lion King either. It's something that I'm kind of weird about CGI animation. If it looks real but also fake, it just kind of weirds me out. So I haven't really been excited about the movie but when we were in Disney World we went to a live reenactment of the musical um I don't remember how they described it but it wasn't like a reenactment of the movie it was like a Cirque du Soleil meets musical um it was really cool because there were acrobatics and it was just like going to a Cirque du Soleil show but with the Lion King storyline and music the music oh 
I would, if I could get that on video, I would totally watch that over and over again because it was so amazing. But that was so fun. I hope to go back to Disney World soon. My friends who live in Orlando, um, they told me I can come anytime and kind of stay with them. So all I have to do is purchase my airline ticket and my Disney World um, tickets and I'm good. So um, once, you know, COVID's over, I might just do that. <laughs> I could use a little bit of Disney happiness. I think we all can after this year. It's been a tough year. Um, okay, so I also purchased one loose highlighter and I've also used this in a video recently. This one is a peachy gold shade and it's called Candied Peach. For me, I found that this goes on a little dark, but it, ha it reflects more of a gold tone on me and it's so pretty, so pretty. If you have a deeper tone, this would be the most amazing highlight on you. For lighter skin tones it works if you use a really light hand but it definitely shows more of that gold. I'll show you swatches in a minute as I promised. Um, and then finally, I think that's finally, I feel like this isn't as much as I, like it feels like this isn't a lot of product but it definitely is because of the eyeshadows but um, I bought four glitters. Now what's really special about these ones is that they are all biodegradable. I generally don't buy glitter as much anymore because I have so many and I don't use them all. But with these they're very pretty and they're kind of unique. There's one, this one's not as unique but I thought it was pretty and I figure I might as well try it in the biodegradable formula and it's called Angel Dust. It's just your typical white glitter that reflects blues and greens and those kinds of colors. This one's a bit more unique in that it is kind of a plum base and it sparkles, it has larger chunks of glitter and it sparkles and reflects kind of a deeper purple. Some green and some reds are in here as well. This one is kind of a dirty gunmetal silver and it reflects, uh, actually has holographic reflex in there so it reflects the rainbow and there's also chunkier star glitter in larger uh, circles, I don't know what they call them, but it's kind of a mix between small and larger chunks of glitter. I know chunks is not the nicest way to describe that. Um, and then finally I have this green toned one. It has kind of a silver base and it has teal and emerald green and some gold in there. It's really pretty. Oh, I would love to go to Paris. I've never been to Paris or um, I've only been to a few countries in Europe. This was like 16 plus years ago. <laughs> that was the last time I went to Europe. But I think that would be so fun to go to Disneyland in Paris. Um, and I can only imagine how amazing the food would be there because I'm a total foodie. Um, I go a little nuts when I go to a bakery here that ser that sells or serves um, French pastries, um, like shoe pastry or croissants or all that stuff. Like, there's a reason I have some chub to me. It's because I can't put down the buttery pastries. <laughs> but, yeah, that would be so fun. Um, Peter Pan, huh? See your, see your favorite? I don't really know if I have a favorite. I'm trying to think. I didn't meet any of the Disney characters when I was at Disney World. Um, for whatever reason, we just didn't come across any. We went to Magic Kingdom one day and then the next day we went to Wild Kingdom. It was really hot and muggy since it was July, uh, July in uh, Florida. <laughs> As you can imagine, it's hot and humid. Oh. oh, you don't have your passport? You know, I need to get a new passport myself. Mine's definitely expired and I haven't needed it. Um, here in, the, in North America, if you want to go to Canada or to Mexico, previously all you had to have was your driver's license and a birth certificate, but then the laws changed and now you can use an enhanced driver's license or you could use a passport card. So I have a passport card so I can actually just drive across the border and that's good, but I can't use that to fly, unfortunately. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I think that's so cool that you have that tattooed. Um, oh, hey. Okay, go ahead and refresh. I hope. I hope it pops up because I haven't started swatching yet. Okay, cool. Sorry, my nose itches. Hold on. 
Oh, my nose will not stop itching. I feel like I have a little cat hair on the side of my nose or something. All right, well, um, we've been on for almost 20 minutes now, so I figure I might as well just get started with the swatches, and if other folks come, they can just watch it on the replay. No worries, no worries at all. I'm happy you're here. That's the important thing. So I'm going to swatch these cream shadows first. Actually, hold on, I have to take that back. I'm gonna swatch the blush and highlighter first because those will be easier to remove and then I'll go into the creams. So the blush, Paris Skies, speaking of Paris, that mauve tone with shimmer, it is so pretty. Oh, hey everyone, ah, I'm so glad you made it. Especially um, since I'm starting the swatches now. Hi, Ali. Hi, T Tashin. Tashin, I'm so sorry, I'm I know I'm butchering your, butchering your name, but Thank you for coming. Welcome. Happy Saturday. Uh, yeah, my cats are doing well. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, one of them is sitting in her little cupcake house. I bought this giant cupcake bed and it has this little cupcake roof. It is the cutest thing. So one of my cats, actually they fight over it. I wish I could find more of them, but I found it at some random, like, what is it called? Um, like a Marshalls or TJ Maxx or something, but it's a little cupcake house for kitties and one of them is in there and I see her right by the door. Super cute. Oh, thank you, Sam. Uh, so on my lids and uh, eyes today, I just filmed what I'm calling a, the single and ready to mingle eyeshadow bingo challenge. So it's basically kind of like my random.org makeup looks, but instead of using palettes, I dove into my single eyeshadows. So I'm actually wearing a Sydney Grace eyeshadow. The big orange one that you're seeing is, or not big orange, that sounded weird. The primary orange color you're seeing is this one, which is called Orange Slush, and this is a Sydney Grace one. So I'll swatch that in a minute here. Oh, no worries, Allie. And I'm I'm actually happy you all could make it. So yay. Okay, let's let's go ahead and dive in. So this was the Paris Skies blush. I'm gonna sorry, I'm gonna try to turn so we have more lighting here. This is just a beautiful blush tone. This is great. This is gonna be good for anyone who has um a light to even more of a medium skin tone. And deeper skin tones can actually use this more as a highlight shade, even though it's cool tone, it'd be kind of unique and pretty, I think. And my playback's coming so good, you can see it. There's a bit of a lag, there's about a 10 to 15 second lag here. So it's, if I'm like hanging out for a second, trying to figure out what's going on, that would be why. But super pretty. Um, as I said, there's a little bit of a sheen to this. It's just really, really nice. Yeah, Sam, it's so pretty. I, did I wear this? I'm trying to remember if I've worn this yet. I feel like I have, but I've been filming like a mad woman recently. I have, I want to say I have eight or nine videos pre-filmed. I'm going out of town next week. Um, and I wanted to make sure I had videos edited and uploaded while I'm gone, so I'm not trying to get that done because my laptop doesn't have the same editing software and it's just kind of old and slow, so I'd rather not deal with it. I'd rather do it on my, my nice desktop computer. All right, um, so you'll see some videos with some of these... You'll see some videos popping up over the next week and a half or so with some of these products kind of mixed in because I couldn't wait to use them. The highlighter um, I did use recently in a video. It's called Candied Peach. It is the most stunning peach tone that reflects gold. On me, since I do have a lot of pigment to my face um, and a lot of rosiness, the peach doesn't really stand out as much, so it really reflects that gold. And if you've ever used an Ofra highlighter or you've seen people use it, you know that it's like super shine. This has that quality and it is stunning but for me I have to be really light-handed with it because I don't really care much for that shiny highlight look I prefer to be glowy and just softly highlighted yes Allie this is the one that you liked and hi Clara thanks so much for popping in I'm glad you were able to make it 
All right, so this is the swatch. It's funny because on my arm, of course, since it's the lightest part of my body in this inner wrist area, it does actually reflect a little bit more pink, but on my face, it definitely doesn't show up as being pink because, hello, I got natural pink to my face. So, yeah, you, I hope you can see that. Yeah, in some angles, it kind of looks like an off brown tone, but I promise it only reflects peach and gold. So I'm just going to keep doing this until I can see it in the replay. <laughs> yeah, you can kind of see it. It's very subtle on my arm, but it's, it's so pretty. Like, I will wear this all the time. And peach is one of those tones that looks good on most everybody. Oh, no worries. No worries. Oh, you know, Sophie, I was that same way for a while. I hadn't bought anything because, one, I just couldn't justify spending money on a ton of product when I have the biggest makeup collection ever and I wasn't even using it all. And secondly, I just wasn't really excited by a lot. Um, I've recently, well, I've, I've tried to get into indie brands over the past few years and it's just difficult when, you know, you're kind of, unofficially on a no buy but now that there's so many indie brands out there and there's so many wonderful products I can't not try them so I've been trying to get into it a little bit more and just purchase things that I know that I'll use I don't buy things that you know just for the sake of buying it but um, I know some of you are on no buy so at least maybe this kind of gets that craving out of the way that you get to sort of live life through me in that way if that makes sense at all I don't know but yeah live vicariously through my 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 money purchases and swatches and stuff okay now I'm gonna swatch the lip color I also did the use this one in a video and I really like this it's just a perfect nude tone lip cream it leaves my lips moisturized for a really long time even after the color kind of fades away um, so the pigment kind of sticks around but not it's so light that it's really hard to tell but the the moisture stays around for a while and it's not one of those goopy glue like really gross lip glosses um, or creams it just kind of glides on nicely I really like it <laughs> uh, yeah when when you can't have something that's when you want it the most, isn't that right, Allie? And no worries, better late than never, Clara. And I haven't, oh, you know what, Angie um, Nyquist, I think that's how you say her last name. I need to learn so every time I reference her, I can say her name correctly. Um, but anyway, she did a look with that palette recently, and I'm not normally into berry tones, but that was really pretty. Yeah, I would imagine it's kind of hard to dupe. This is um, this is kind of like a gloss, so it's not matte, it's glossy, um, and it doesn't dry down. It's, it definitely wears like a lip gloss, but it's more pigmented than a gloss. Like, it will actually show up this color on the lips. You might still have a little bit of your natural lip color peeking through, but if, if you want this true color, then I would recommend using a concealer or foundation on your lips for that. <laughs> Oh, yeah, my collection laughs in my face, too, only because it's like, girl, you bought us and you don't use us. What's wrong with you? <laughs> okay, um, I just realized it's going to be really difficult for me to swatch the glitters without a base. Um, so I might have to improvise on that because my the, I'm in my office and my makeup is actually in my bedroom. So, yeah. You know, I actually haven't tried a lot of Revolutions products across all of their brands. There's a few things I've tried, and I wasn't, I won't say I didn't like them. I just wasn't, like, over the top impressed. Um, like, I have a color story video where I showed off, um, I think it was seven looks with their day and night or night and day palette. And I like the palette. I just... I don't know. There was something about it that it was really pretty, but it wasn't something that I would grab for all the time. But I think they're a great affordable brand 
Um, I just haven't tried a lot of like their face products, um, mostly just their eyeshadows. Anyway, um, let's go into the cream shadows because these are so pretty. The first one I'm going to swatch is called Sp uh, the Spiced Cider. That's hard to say. This one is that copper. It's a bright orangey copper shade. It reminds me of, you know, that copper cookware that you would see on people's walls. That's like the color that this is. So pretty. These shadows would be so stunning on their own, just on the lid. And they blend out pretty nicely too. Here's it, here it is kind of blended. It's so pretty. Um, I could have gone ham and bought so many more of these, but I was like, realistically, am I ever going to wear them? Because I have so many cream shadows and I just don't grab for them that often. But they make such wonderful bases and I figure, okay, if I buy these, these are ones I would have to either wear as standalone shadows or as bases. So, yeah. Yeah, you can totally see how reflective that is. It is so pretty. All right, thankfully I have my micellar water and some tissue, so this is gonna be easier to remove because these set in pretty easily. They're not waterproof, but they do, um, like you see it just kind of not coming off very well. So they do last, they're, they're meant to last all day, which is great because you kind of want your cream shadows to last all day and not crease. You want them to set. So micellar water just took it off pretty easily after a couple little scrubs. All right, next shade here is the Deep Love. This one is the deeper burgundy shade. And this one would be amazing for the fall. It's a mix between burgundy and wine. It definitely has that brown base to it. And so pretty. So, so pretty. This is another one that would just be beautiful on its own, just on the lid, and then you can softly blend it out on the edges so you don't have a really, really strong line of demarcation in your crease. <laughs> you guys are so funny in the comments. <laughs> no, you buy something for me. No, you buy for me. But I'm on a no buy. But it doesn't count if you buy it for someone else, does it? I don't know how I feel about that one. <laughs> yeah, this one is really nice. This would make a great base as well. I really like that it's not as red as it appears in the tube or when it first comes out, that it blends out to more of this kind of wearable brownish burgundy shade. So pretty. Um, a lot of these shades are going to be amazing in the fall. So I already have a lot of inspiration to use them. And since there's so much product here, I might even use them in more costume looks. Um, speaking of costume looks, um, August is the month that I start planning out Halloween stuff. I haven't really done a lot of Halloween videos in a really long time, but I hope this year I can actually, now that I have this whole content calendar in place for my videos, I hope um, to upload maybe a couple. So, um, Costume looks are so fun, but they take a lot of work, especially since I like to go out and do more fun kind of intros and kind of create little storylines around them. So I don't know if there's something that you think I should do. Let me know. Um, I've had this idea to do Disney villains for a while. I actually did a video a really long time ago, like... I want to say five years ago, where I turned myself into Jafar when he turned into the genie in Aladdin. So when he was that ugly red genie, I turned myself into the ugly red genie. And um, yeah, that that was, a f I look at that video and I have to cringe because I like, yeah, I did some weird voice effects and it's a little embarrassing and cringy now, but I really think that the look turned out kind of fun. But anyway, if there's something that you would like me to do for Halloween, or if you have any ideas, or even want to collab on some stuff, totally open. Okay, next, we need to get through this because we're already halfway through because I can only stay an hour today. Uh, this one is Down the Coast. This one is 
described as, a, well, this is definitely like a pure metallic silver. Wait until you see this. Wait until you see it. It's not as opaque as the other two, but I think that you can layer this up. Oh, let's see. I might, I missed someone's comment here. Um, no, you didn't miss any greens or blues. Um, I did not buy any creams in those shades. Um, at least I, I have a purple, but that's as far as that goes. I haven't done the single eyeshadows yet. That's, that's like the best for last. No way. Your birthday's on Halloween. That's cool. I was actually looking at the P. Louise website the other day and thinking about buying some of their new stuff. But then I was thinking the same about Nabla and a bunch of other things. I actually have a video coming up, I think, this week where I take you on a shopping trip on five, uh, to five different indie brand websites and what I'd buy. So I'm going to leave it there because otherwise I'd spill too much. But that's, that one's fun. Yeah, Disney villains, so fun, Sophie. I totally want to do more of those. So anyway, back to it. Do you see how reflective the silver is? It is so pretty. Um, it's not, like, it's metallic, but it's also a wearable, so you're not looking like the Tin Man smeared something all over your eyes. <laughs> you like my description there? Yeah, both of your birthdays are coming up. My birthday's already passed. I'm a February birthday baby. I'm like a Valentine baby. <laughs> my birthday is just before Valentine's Day. But yeah. My birthday is February 10th. So I'm an Aquarius true and true. Quirky, odd, aloof. All of those attributes apparently. <laughs> I would say they're fairly accurate. Okay, let's take some of this off. because I already know this is going to be a pain to clean off later if I let it set. Yeah, this one kind of reflects different colors. I think it might be reflecting more lilac since I'm wearing this navy blue dress. But here's the lilac one. Um, this one is called Glory. And this one, this one, even though I know I won't wear it as often because it's not as neutral, it's just so pretty. I could not pass on it. Oh, that's so cool. I, well... Happy way belated birthday, or have happy half birthday, since we're already, we're about halfway through the um, halfway through to our next birthdays. Here's the lilac one. It is definitely more purple. My favorite color is purple, so you know I had to get some purple. It is so pretty. It is so pretty. This I would just blast blast. This, I would just pop all over the lid and call it good and just kind of blend it out. I do that with some color pop ones too. Um, but yeah, so pretty full. <laughs> this would also look really cool with like a black liquid liner, kind of what I'm wearing today. Um, and then, you know, your mascara, whatever, and just have a little teeny bit smudged under the bottom lash line as well. That would be an amazingly beautiful look. <laughs> Unbirthday. Thank you. Yes, that's what I was trying to go for and I couldn't remember what it was called. Alice in Wonderland, speaking of Disney. Yeah, this one I think is my favorite out of all the cream shadows. Even though I really love that silver, that silver one was the first one I added to my shopping cart, but then I went through all the swatches on their site and I was like, oh, I gotta have that one and that one and oh, but I'm gonna, gonna wear that one. Yes, I will make myself wear it, but that's kind of like this purple one. Um, yeah, I, I, mm -hmm. it's so pretty. And as soon as it sets, you can tell that it's, it's kind of like, I won't say it's budge proof, but it definitely stays on. So when you remove it at the end of the day or whenever you take off your makeup, you, you definitely will need to use a makeup remover to get it off. A purple owl? That sounds so cool. If you have Instagram, you'll have to tag me in a picture if you have a picture of it, because I would love to see it. Oh, that's okay, Allie. I know you're here and here. We'll just imagine what offhanded comment you're saying. 
to Clara. <laughs> Yeah, every Sydney Grace swatch that I've seen has just been so good. Um, I'll tell you what, I was on the Sydney Grace website for maybe an hour and a half when I was already ready to place my order. I had an Excel spreadsheet with all the different products that I wanted to buy. They actually have some multi-chrome shadows that I had hoped to purchase uh, during the sale because they would have been significantly cheaper. I think they're $18 original price, sadly. And of course, they were all sold out and there's three of them. So I am going to be purchasing those in the future, but they're like, hmm, hands down, amazingly beautiful. Um, I'm going to see, actually, this might be an interesting use for, for the gloss. I don't know if I want to use the gloss though. Hold on. I'm actually going to use I'm going to make a huge mess of this, I already know, but whatever. Actually, I'll use the micellar water. That will, that way you guys can see on my bare skin what these look like. Glitters are so hard to swatch because, I mean, they're glitters. <laughs> uh, what I like about these glitters is they have this um, sliding sifter, so that way you're not when you have them stored and if you accidentally drop it, you're not going to get glitter all over the lid and all over the place. It is less messy. Um, so you kind of have to slide that sifter over. It's a little challenging because they're a little stiff, but, um, but I really like that packaging. It makes it so much easier to deal with. So the first one is called Out of Orbit. Again, these are biodegradable, so they're not made out of plastic. So once they go down the drain, they will eventually break down. I think they're made out of like, like shells or something. I forget. I have to look it up again, but Lauren May Beauty talks about um, using biodegradable glitters and ever since then I've been kind of thinking about that myself. But this one is the Out of Orbit, which is that dirty silver gunmetal one that I told you about. There are some stars in here, but I there's not... There aren't any stars in the top of this when I swatched it. I'd have to go in with a brush. But it has a nice pigmentation. Like you can, it's like salt and pepper. This is what I think of. It's like salt and pepper. It's really fun. Okay, cool. I'll take a look at that one um, when I get a chance to pull up Instagram, Sophie. But yeah, it's really fun. Um, I, I like glitters. I don't wear them all the time, but I like glitters. Okay, the sifter is really tough to turn, but it just, as I said, it makes life easier, so I'm going to be grateful it's there. All right, I'm going to try to get through this because I have 20 minutes left and 21 eyeshadows to swatch for you. It's a lot. This one is the green one. Let me quickly put some liquid down. This one's fun because it's it's really chunky. It's got a lot of different reflex, reflex in it. Um, different sizes of glitter. Um, there's It reflects kind of an olive green, um, some gold, some blue and teal. I'll put it right next to the salt and pepper out of orbit colored one. Mm -hmm. It's like a candy apple to me. That's kind of what I think, or not candy apple, like a Granny Smith apple is kind of what I also think of this as being. Okay, trying to push the sifter with one hand is really hard. You know, that's actually a really good idea, Clara. I should do that. <laughs> Thank you for the smart idea. I, sh I haven't had enough coffee today, clearly. And it's sitting right here, too. But I'm just having too much fun swatching to actually drink my coffee. Tin Man, yes, that would be fun. And then the Scarecrow, too. I don't know so much about Cowardly Lion. I can imagine how hot that would be with all that fake hair on the face. Ooh, this one's going to be fun. Um, oops, come on. There we go. Yeah, this was a good idea using the micellar water because it's sticking really well to it. All right, let's go with all four of them now. 
Yeah, I don't have too many glitter eyeshadows. I just mostly have loose glitters that you have to pop on with lash glue or whatever. Yeah, biodegradable, I think, is the way we should all be going. I mean, Sydney Grace has other glitters that looked beautiful, but not all of them are biodegradable. So those are the only ones I purchased were the biodegradable ones. But, yeah, these are really fun and pretty. Like, good array of colors. I really like this um, plum purple one, of course, because I like purples, but I think this would be pretty over like a deep brown or even that burgundy shade, that burgundy cream shadow, that on top would be really pretty. Oh, you did? You watched Lauren May too? Yeah, she, she's awesome. I really like her content. I think I came across her video or her videos or channel like a year or two ago, and ever since then I'm like... She, she's kind of like my spirit animal. <laughs> Not that she's an animal. That sounded kind of weird, but I think you know what I mean. Um, so really quickly, um, one of these that I swatched, I don't remember which one. I had, it left a weird yellow line here on my hand that's not coming off. So that's really odd. I don't know which one. It might have been the plum one. But I think because it's biodegradable, it does break down a little bit in pigment on the skin. So just be forewarned about that. All right. Oh, are you ready for the fun one for the eyeshadows? So again, here are all the single shadows that I purchased. No way. It was real fur. That sounds horrible. <laughs> I could only imagine how hot that would have been with all those studio lights. My goodness. And hopefully they, I don't know. I hope that the fur they used was ethically taken, you know, that it was not like the animal was poached just for that. Oh, give Frederick lots of little cuddles and loves. My cats are all off doing other stuff like sleeping. But okay. Let's go ahead and swatch. So out of these eyeshadows, there are three mattes. Um, there are two more neutral tone mattes and then um, a deep green matte, which is called evergreen. So this one's for you, Clara, the evergreen. So this one is, so I will swatch these two matte shades first. Um, if I can get them out. Let's see, how is this going to be better on this side? So I'm doing two passes with my fingers, um, and of course there's no primer on my arms. Alright, so I'll swatch that green one later. So these ones are the more neutral tones. The top one is called Officer. It's a gray tone, but it has a warmer brown base to it. And then, whoops, as I'm dropping everything, my goodness. And then the second one is called... Thunderbird, which is more of your typical gray shade. It's, I won't, I'll say it's more of a neutral. It's not too cool and it's not too warm. But really nice. I, I like gray eyeshadows. Yeah, they're very pretty. Ugh, I, yikes. All of them must have had lung cancer after so many years. Yeah, um, they probably tanned the hide, so it wouldn't be so bad. But still, I just, I couldn't imagine having to wear that in the studio lights. It tan, like, my dad used to hunt, and he would save the fur or the hides from the deer and the elk that he would hunt. And um, they have more of this smoked smell, if that makes sense. They don't smell bad, it's just, it definitely has a really interesting, distinct scent. If you've ever smelled leather before, like authentic leather or suede, it has that kind of a scent. I can only imagine how many facts there are about Wizard of Oz. Um, I was at the grocery store yesterday and there was a book that I was kind of interested in buying, but I decided against it since I... I, I'm on a no-buy for books right now. I need to read what I have. 
But um, it was about the wife of the author, Frank L. Baum, his wife. And she was on set of The Wizard of Oz. And it talks about her trying to protect Judy Garland and to keep the spirit of the movie similar to the spirit of the book. So I can only imagine. That sounds like they're, yeah. The film, I love the movie. I will admit, I love the movie. And I haven't read the book, so I can't say, you know, Oh, it's so authentic to the book, because I'm sure it's not, but hey, whatever. My childhood. Yes, we are slaves to our cats, um, especially when they jump on top of you when you're in bed and you can't move because they're on top of a nerve or something. My cats like to do that to me, um, especially right now. I, I So I have a funny admission to make. So I went to go get a massage last week and when I was in or was getting um, situated on the table, um, I was turning and all of a sudden I heard a pop and I immediately started screaming in pain because it hurt so bad and I p dislocated a rib and I've done this so many times because, because I have what's called Cost, what is it? Costeritis, or I don't know how it's pronounced, but basically it's the it's inflammation of the rib cartilage. So because it's inflamed, things move around, and I actually dislocated a rib, and it was so painful, <laughs> and I'm still healing from it. So this morning, my cat jumped on top of me, and he put his paw on this tender, um tender part of my rib and he and he was meowing at me so it's like you better feed me or I'm gonna hurt you I yeah I just agree I just approved your comment Clara I have some um words that are blocked on my comments but I don't know why that was blocked because there's no cussing in there that's so weird I don't know YouTube is odd okay so these are the other top three shadows. Um, the silver one is definitely a foiled metallic and it's called Polish Silver. You would love this color, Clara, because it's green and it's like a perfectly shimmering acid green. This one is called Tempest. And then the dark green matte is called Evergreen. And I'm actually wearing Evergreen today as well on my bottom lash line. I blended it in with another shade because I did a random dot org kind of look and I'm wearing like orange and pink and purple and white and green. That color combination was really challenging to put together but I'll have that video up at some point in the near future. Oh, that's interesting. So the ruby slippers are just a movie thing, huh? Interesting. I'll have to read the book now and just be like, oh, Hollywood, you got it so wrong. That's like, I have so many books where I've read the read them first and then watched the movie and I'm like, oh, they did that so wrong. But sometimes I find that it's better to watch the movie first and then read the book. That way the movie's not entirely ruined. <laughs> okay, so hopefully you're able to see these three and admire it because we have 10 minutes to go and... Um, 16 shadows to go. Okay, this matte green is sticking to my arm pretty well, so I feel badly wasting all these tissues. I My makeup eraser wipe is dirty, like really dirty. It needs It's actually in the dirty clothes hamper because I need to wash it. Um, but I'm trying not to buy makeup wipes in any disposable stuff anymore because you know I'm trying to be earth friendly but doing swatches like this is really hard to not have makeup wipes or some sort of tissue alrighty I don't know if makeup geek still sells um, the color called jester it was a beautiful golden olive green tone, but I, if not, I have the perfect dupe here for it. Oh, I'm not going to pronounce this name correctly. I already know it, but.
but you're already I know you're gonna ask what the name is because it's so pretty but I'll give it to you in just a sec I'll show you the swatch and then I'll tell you the names all right um so here are the green tones I'm glad you enjoy this I love swatches I'll when I'm bored or just need to relax, I'll go through my makeup collection and just grab a random palette and just swatch it. Um, all right, so this top one is called Hidden Treasure. It's a white base that shifts gold, so it's a duochrome. The second one is the one that I said would be a good dupe for Jester because it's an olive tone, but it shifts kind of gold. This one's called Celebrate. This is the one I can't really, I'm probably going to butcher in my pronunciation, and it's like Megalodon, Megalodon. It is so pretty. As you can tell, it just shifts. Here, I'm going to turn towards the light a little bit more. Hopefully that helps you see. My arm is like, I'm twisting my arm in such a weird way too. And then this bottom one, which is really hard to tell because I need, I should have put it more this way. Hold on. There we go. Um, this one is a white base, but it shifts to green, and it's called Green Mist. I bought all these kinds of shades that reflect some sort of color. Megalodon. 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 I don't know. It, it, I feel like it's, um, you know, referencing some, like, science fiction thing that I have no idea about. So, one last look. Oh, that, okay. That would, okay, here I was thinking science fiction. Well, it is kind of science-y. And look how pretty this is when they're all blended together. <laughs> okay, let's clean that off. I think I can, I'll go a little bit over on time because even though I can't stay on as long as I did the last time, um, I do want to try to get all these swatches in for everyone. Okay, I'm gonna take a quick break and take a sip of coffee. I have to study, I'm finishing um, my business degree and I have a final, or not a final, sorry, midterm tomorrow. And I have a, a paper to write as well, along with a lot of um, other stuff I have to do, so I'm like, my whole day is pretty much blocked out for editing more videos and studying. Oh, fur on your face. Yeah, that's the only thing I don't like about my kitties is that their fur gets everywhere. Okay. Yeah, it's just, no thanks. I, I perpetually have cat hair all over me. Uh, it's just something that I'll never, ever get rid of. Unless I just no longer have cats, but I don't see that ever happening because I love my kitties too much. I think these shades are so fun, these next ones that I'm swatching. If you like gold, stick around because that's what I'm swatching first. I'm trying to make sure I get it around like the whole wrist so that way I'm not kind of weirdly twisting my arm here. And swatch these ones too. So this orange one, I think you're going to love a lot. It's the one I'm wearing on my lids today. It's like this bright, just metallic orange. It is so fun. The way I have it, the way I'm wearing it on my lids is not, um, uh, it's more, it was applied using kind of a denser and thicker kind of flat brush. So it's not as, um, Sorry, I have cat hair on my nose, speaking of cats. Um, but it's, I applied it in a way so it wouldn't be so bold. Um, we're getting there. I'm almost done with these swatches. I'm doing like all the orange and 
gold tone shades now and reds and then the last one will be all the purpley tones i'm running out of fingers to swatch with if you've ever swatched anything with your pinky it's hard <laughs> pinkies are not the best finger to swatch with okay here we go uh, let me scooch back hopefully it shows well all right on this top one this oh hello i'm dropping everything with my slimy slippery fingers okay this top one is called pumpkin spice latte because i'm a basic girl <laughs> I saw the color swatch and I had to have it. I thought it was super pretty. This next one is called Seize the Day. And this one's like your bright, metallic, shimmering gold color. It's like a really bright yellow gold. The next one under that is a lighter gold, but it has a little bit of a green reflex to it, which is kind of cool. It is called Mermaid. The one below that is is called Golden Strawberry. This one is a really nice kind of muted pink color, um, but it has a lot of sheen to it. And it's a little bit golden. It's not, um, it's not something that's going to pick up really bold, but it's really pretty. This is that orange one that I have on my lids today. This one is called Orange Slush. I'm sure they wanted to call it Orange Crush, but that's a copyrighted name, so they couldn't use it. But it's so pretty. It's so bold. It's so fun. As I said, it's what I'm wearing on my lids today. Um, yeah. The next one here, this bright pink with a gold tone, it golden tone to it, is called Golden Peach. So Golden Strawberry, I feel like the name should be reversed because the Golden Peach is more of a pink tone, whereas the Golden Strawberry is more of a peach tone. But either way, um, yeah, Golden Peach is this beautiful pink shade with gold reflex. And then this final one here is a copper called Lost Princess. Ooh, I just, no, I dropped it and it just smudged all over the place. But hopefully you're able to see them. Yes, I, yeah, I have, I've had so much fun like putting these shades together and just kind of swatching and playing around to see what color combinations I would want. Most of these shades I would just wear on the lids by themselves and just call it good because sometimes I'm just so basic where I just throw in a splash of color and that's it. But today I have six eyeshadows on. Only two of them are Sydney Grace, but um, I digress on that. But yeah, sometimes I go a little bit more crazy with the eyeshadows. But yeah, these are so fun. Like you can tell, these are the colors that I bought the most of, which is weird because normally I grab, I've been gravitating towards greens and purples the most lately. But I mean, I did buy a few greens and I did buy a couple of purples, but this is kind of the main jam that I bought, like these warmer golden orange tones. But yeah, they're so pretty. I can't wait to use these in videos. I might end up doing like, a, I might end up making a series out of the single eyeshadows um, that I did today with what I was calling the single and ready to mingle eyeshadow bingo challenge. <laughs> I came up with that name because I thought it was super clever, but it probably is too long and no one's going to know what that means. Um, but basically eyeshadow bingo with single eyeshadows. Look how that blends out. It's like, Looks like I got a really bad sunburn. <laughs> Only on that spot spot of my arm though. All right, we have five more eyeshadows left to swatch. I am also needing to run to the store and I think I'm gonna have to buy more micellar water. I'm like halfway through the bottle already. I really like this Garnier one. Um, I had tried some other ones in the past but I don't remember if I liked them. Um, but I really like this Garnier one, like random. I, it's a smaller size and I picked it up thinking, oh, I should try some micellar water again and see if I actually like it this time because I don't know. I, I tend to just prefer like oil-based makeup removers, but this is not obviously oil-based, but 
It works really well on some things. Okay. That's as clean as that's going to get without soap and water. Now on to the... Well, actually, some of these are not purple. Some of these have different tones to them. But that's okay. They're, they're, they all have the same base. So I have three more shadows here that have a white base, but an iridescent shift to another color. You're going to like these. I just know it. I am a sucker for these kinds of holographic, iridescent, reflex eyeshadows because they're like magic tricks, you know? The pink label or blue? Pink one. Oh, this of the micellar water? This one's, I think, the blue one. The all-in-one waterproof. Is that what you is that what you're referring to for the micellar water? Because I didn't I just picked up the blue one. If if there's multiples, I don't know. That's the only one I could see. And plus, I don't really wear a lot of waterproof makeup, but my makeup likes to stay in place because I lock it in and, and with eyeshadows and stuff, so it's pretty much waterproof without it being waterproof, I guess. Ooh, this one. This one, oh, it's so pretty. Okay, let's wipe my fingers off. Yeah, I haven't tried the pink one. This one's the blue one, so that's probably why I like it. I will stay away from the, the pink one then. <laughs> it sounds like it's one that I wouldn't like either. This, oh, I can't wait for you to see this one. This one is a white base that reflects pinkish red. Yes, I said it. Pinkish red. I think this, I have a purple here that I think might be a good dupe for Caitlin Rose from Makeup Geek. It's not exactly the same because the Caitlin Rose has more of a pink to it, but this would be a close dupe for that. So if you have never purchased, if you didn't get a chance to purchase that and you wanted it, that would might, that might be an option for you. And then this Final purple, it might be a good dupe for Masquerade, although I'm not sure it's the right tone. I'd have to do a side-by-side -side swatch, but I have a feeling that these would be pretty similar to them. All right, here we go. Final swatch fest. So on the top, I have Blue Mist. It is a white base, and it reflects kind of a, a light blue, almost periwinkly purple tone. Really nice. It would be super pretty. Ooh, if I don't get it all over my face. Um, it would be super pretty for like an inner tear duct highlight or even just over a white base on the eyes just to have some fun, funky color. Um, or even, even bleh, 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 bleh. more coffee, please. <laughs> Maybe even as like a cheek highlighter if you wanted to use it as such. It has a little bit more white to it. So if for darker skin tones, it would be too ashy, but I think on a lighter skin tone, it would work for a highlight. The next one is so pretty. It is called Velvet, and it's your pure, shimmering, metallic white shade. I'm a sucker for these two. I just, I love a good metallic white. Um, you can use it for so many things. Inner tear duct highlight. That one is probably the one that'll get the most use. Um, from me because I love doing inner tear duct highlights. That's like my jam. Even if I have like no other eyeshadow on, I'll still do an inner tear duct highlight because I just like how it looks on me. Um, especially with my dark eyes, it just kind of like pops and brings just a little bit more light because um, from afar, my eyes can look really deep, uh, deep and dark and I have deeper set eyes than most people. So then my eyes just like, they look really dark sometimes. So that little pop there just really brings them out. Um, okay, and then this one in the middle is a, is the Red Mist one, and it is a white that shifts to a pinkish red tone. So pretty. That one, like in one angle, it just looks like a really light um, satin pink, but in other angles, it definitely uh, shows off that white a bit more. And then the purples. This one that looks like it could be a Caitlyn Rose dupe, this one is called Deliverer. It's not as pink toned as I said, but it might be a good dupe. Um, 
I might do a side-by-side -side swatch next time and kind of show it off when I use this in a video just to give you an idea if it's a good dupe or not. And then this last one here is called flannel. Again, it's like a, it's more of a, like a typical violet tone. It's got some blue in it, but mostly, mostly just your pure purple. So that is it. I'm gonna have fun washing this off now. <laughs> Especially with purples, like if they have reds in them, they're really difficult to clean off. So, out of all of these eyeshadows, have you screenshotted any of them? <laughs> Is there one that you're like, I have to have that? Because I feel that way whenever I see beautiful eyeshadows being swatched. I'm always like, I want and I need that. I need that. But then I go to buy it and I'm like, oh, their website doesn't make it look that pretty. So I guess I don't need it. And then I see it squashed again or used in a video. And I'm like, darn it. I should have bought it. I should have bought it. <laughs> Yeah, purples, greens, obviously oranges, and, and peach and golds are the ones I really gravitated towards. So now my palette's kind of messy, but those are the best kind because you know they're well-loved, even though I haven't used most of these yet. Yeah, the orange slush. Yeah, this... I don't think Caitlyn Rose is being sold anymore, but this might be a good dupe. So that, again, was called... I think this was Deliverer. Yeah, Deliverer. So, and I think these are seven or eight dollars, so they're not bad. I think they're actually cheaper than the Makeup Geek uh, foiled shadows. The orange slush one, yes. <sighs> I can't wait for this video to go up because it's fun for one, but orange, yeah. And the green glitter, yes, the green glitter is so pretty. These are brand new, so I haven't used them on my eyes, but they look, they, I guess if you could swatch glitter, it's swatched okay. I don't know how to compare that because I've never really swatched glitters before. Yeah, I think Sydney Grace will ship internationally. I'm not sure about that. Um, there is a the indie brand video that I mentioned earlier that I'm doing. Most of them do ship internationally, and if they don't, I think I notate that or I will notate that in the video. But yeah, um, I don't know with 100% certainty about international shipping because they are a U.S.-based brand. I think they're based out of California. But they were really fast to ship. It was awesome. So I placed my first order, and within a day, I already had a tracking number, and they had shipped it out within a day. And then I got it. Well, I live on the West Coast, so it was really fast for me to receive it in the mail. And... Um, and then the order that did take a little bit longer was this one. And I think it was because it was the end of their sales period. And these were all 25% off. And I'm sure a lot of people went ham in purchasing those single eyeshadows. So they probably were just processing a lot of orders. But I got those pretty quickly. So really great. Um, glitter glue. Um, I have a Cinema Secrets one that I like. It's a little bit... It kind of dries down to this weird, almost plasticky feel if you're not careful and you use it too thickly, but I really like that. NYX has a really good glitter glue as well that I use a lot. So those are the two that I've used over and over again that I like. Um, I think it is, I'm trying to remember the name of uh, LA Splash, I think. It comes in a really long tube and it's kind of white colored. That one is good too. Um, yeah, I have uh, Kleena, and I don't have Odin's Eye on my... Well, I have it on a list, but I haven't really dug in too deeply into their products. But Kleena, oh my gosh. There's so many beautiful multi-chromes that I have to have. Yep, I'm that same way, where it's like I have... Anytime I look at makeup palettes, and I... I'm trying to decide whether or not I should buy it. Most of the time I say, no, I don't need that palette because I already have like all of those shades and probably 15 other palettes. Plus I have my single shadows. Um, this is one reason I love Makeup Geek so much is because they're, or at least their new system, is because they don't really release palettes uh, that have limited edition shades in them where you have to buy the whole palette. You can buy the singles, and I think that's just brilliant because sometimes you don't want the whole palette. You want it for that one color, but you can buy a single eyeshadow, and it's way more cost-effective, less wasteful. So I love their system, and I wish more brands would do stuff like that.
yeah, I can only imagine how hard it would be to ship internationally or receive things internationally. Um, there's, I can't remember what brand I was looking at last night. <laughs> um, maybe it was P. Louise. I don't remember, but it's definitely a European brand. And I was reading their requirements for shipping. And they said you get free international shipping with the baseline order, but that they can't guarantee you won't be charged for customs. And they said that the most their customers have been charged was like $9. And I was like, ooh, that's a little pricey, but I guess it's better than having to pay like 20 to $30 on customs. But yikes. And I've shipped. I did a giveaway several years ago where one of my um, – subscribers was based in Italy and she won and that was fun to ship out it was a pretty large package too and I think it cost me like 60 or 70 dollars to ship it to her um, which was it was less than half of what the cost of the products cost but it's definitely something I have to budget for when I do a, a giveaway that's international because it can be really costly to send that stuff out makeup geek yeah I've met Marlena a couple of times and she is so sweet and kind. Like the way she is in her videos and her lives, that's exactly how she is in person. And she gives, like she always says this, but she gives a lot of hugs and that is so true. She's a very big hugger. Uh, she's awesome. She's, you know, it's funny. She lives in my area and I kind of know where she lives, not like the actual housing area, but I know what city she lives in. And it's like, you're so close to me and I'm in your town all the time. But I haven't seen her. I haven't seen Taylor. Actually, I did meet Taylor Wynn randomly at an Ulta. And I didn't know who she was at the time. But I met her because she lives here in Seattle. And that was kind of random because I found out who she was later. And I was just like, really? I met her. And she even asked me if I knew who Taylor Wynn was. Because that's not, I, I just didn't. We we're talking about YouTube and we we're shopping for makeup and we we're just chatting about YouTube and stuff and she's like, Oh, have you ever heard of Taylor Wynn? And I'm like, No, I haven't, but I feel like I've heard of her, but I don't I don't think I've seen any of her videos. Yeah, that was kind of a weird moment. <laughs> but yeah, those are the only two um Oh, I've also met Judy from It's Judy Time and It's Judy's Life, but she does more lifestyle blogs now with her kids. But I met her a couple of times. Um, I met her once here in Seattle, but it was at an event. So it wasn't like out and about doing anything. But anyway, yeah, um, I'm 15 minutes over and I really have to get to studying. <laughs> I know, so fun. Blech. But um, this is so much fun. I'll probably do lives maybe every other week, maybe two times a month if I can. I'm trying to come up with some fun things to do for them. So it's not just like something I could put in a regular video because I think these are just... Like, I love interacting with folks. I, I It's kind of weird when you're talking to a camera by yourself and you're like, there's no one responding. I have to wait until I upload a video and see if people respond to it. Um, but yeah, um, I'll have another video up tomorrow doing a foundation review. And then um, yesterday's video um, was that bright green makeup look. So go check it out. Thanks for being here, everyone. I hope everyone has an awesome rest of your day. Drive safe. Allie, please drive safe. <laughs> and um, I'll see you guys next time. Be sure to like this video so other people can see it. All right. Bye. Stay electric. Mwah.